All right, here we'll talk about our kneeling work. This is great to really focus on isolating our upper body. Um, it takes our feet out of the equation and it's really useful in a small space like this where we can utilize partner work or coach work to focus on a couple keys. So as we get down, there's a couple ways we can do it. First way is bare hand. Uh, big thing here is that we focus on posture and we focus on presentation. Posture is our upper body and how our chest is working out over our knees. And then when we're on our feet, it's gonna be chest over knees over toes. All right, so as we get into here, as the coach or the partner is about to roll, they need to check and make sure that the chest is out over the knees, out over the toes. Maintaining this posture is a great thing to do here. and We can hold it so when they catch, they're not going back and flipping and catch. Okay, they can hold this posture the entire time and get used to maintaining that position. The other part is presentation. The biggest thing here is our glove, okay, and our fingers are gonna be pointing down or perpendicular to the floor. On a straight up ball in the middle lane and a ball of the forehand, fingers are perpendicular. As we get into the backhand lane, then our fingers roll over and they're now parallel with the floor. All right, so there's a few different variations we can do. We can work in the middle lane, we can work in the forehand lane, and we can work in the backhand lane. Okay, so those are the variations of the lanes. Then we can vary the hops. So we can work a rolled ball, we can work a short hop, or we can work a high hop. As we roll back and forth to each other, and we've got a bare hand, we're just gonna stick. All right? Um, this is great, like I said, to isolate the upper body and focus on posture, presentation, and then start to add in some variation with hops and lanes. The second piece is with our glove. The only difference here is that instead of sticking it out front, we're now going to get to center with eyes. Okay, the biggest thing center with eyes does for us is it gets us to the same spot every single time. All right, so if we're going on the forehand side, boom, center, eyes. We're going on the backhand side, here, center, eyes. If it's straight down the middle, center, and eyes. In addition to posture and presentation, we then have to work into center with eyes, maintain that posture so that we get ourselves ready to throw.